it's not hentai this time, but it is a racy little car. Tune. Ooh. <laughs> What if I told you there's a racing game for the Super Famicom that combines the frantic item-based action of Mario Kart with the tricky turns and twists of rally driving? It's called Cat's Run Zen Nippon K Car Senshuken. Senshuken meaning championship. It was developed and published by Atlas in 1995. The game features 12 playable characters. They range from a typical high school girl, to a boy racer, to an office lady. There's even a girl who wears cat ears. For whatever reason. The characters are Emi, Yuichi, Keiko, Eiki, Makoto, Mika, Misako, Reika, Tetsuo, and Yoko. There are also two hidden characters. Sayoko and Miki. More on those two in a moment. There are also 11 cars to pick from. These cars are passenger cars, or K-class cars as they're known in Japan. These are all real cars. The AutoZam AZ-1, Honda Today, Suzuki Cappuccino, Suzuki Alto Works, Honda Beat, Mitsubishi Minica Dangan ZZ4 Mitsubishi Topo Suzuki Jimny Suzuki Wagon R and Daihatsu Mirror TRXX The last and hidden vehicle is not a Victorian era car despite what the menu background might suggest disappointingly but is instead a hidden police car the Mini Pato short for patroller. To unlock the police car and two extra characters, hold down A, B, X and Y at the title screen and press start. The game contains no save function, so you need to input this code every time you want to use these characters or the cop car. Character choice doesn't seem to affect gameplay and I'm not sure if the car you pick does either. Your character appears down the bottom during gameplay. They steer as you do, left and right, and they react to the race going on around them. When you get ahead of another racer, they will have a positive response. If you fall behind another racer, they will be understandably upset. It's annoying when all the cars are clumped together, because they'll keep making noise and gestures, distracting you from the game. <laughs> When picking your car, press L to change whether the car is automatic or manual transmission. If you have no idea what that means because you don't know how a car works, you'd best keep that on automatic. You could probably get a higher max speed in manual if it's anything like other racing games I've played. Pressing R cycles through all available car colors. If you're playing as Miki, you can only drive cars with a black paint job. This trait is exclusive to Miki. Cat's Run utilizes the Mode 7 graphics trick used in Super Mario Kart, F-Zero and other racing games. This allows a flat image to be scaled in a way to give off three-dimensional depth. Enemy cars also have varying degrees of scale swapped between depending on their distance from you. Because the Super Nintendo can achieve this effect with little to no effort, Cat's Run maintains a mostly steady frame rate. Instead of laps, Cat's Run contains one big course, which is made up of separate areas. When you get to the end of an area, there is a transition to the next one. The areas include a cityscape during the day, a rural area with a cabbage farm, a beach, a snow-capped course, 
and even a neon lit city at night, just to name a few. You accelerate using B, break using Y, and you can use an item with A. Items vary from thrown, like the red high-heeled shoe, to consumed, the nitro boost. The item selection is without a sense of coherence, and items are placed on the course in random spots, sometimes up against walls. The items feel like an afterthought, they really do. Everything else is as you would expect in any decent driving game. There are 10 races in any match, and the goal is to be in first place by the end. If you get so far behind, you'll be caught by Sayoko in her police car, issued a speeding ticket, and it's game over. When you get to the last map, if you're in first, the main rival Miki will burst off in front. At first I thought it was awful rubber banding, but it's not. This is intentional. Defeating Miki is not easy. You have to get a lot of practice with this game, and it's slightly weird physics. Physics which send you hurtling off into pits. And when you respawn, you respawn facing the reverse way! Which is just cruel on the part of the developers. Cat's Run is an interesting piece of Atlas history, but a game I'd find hard to recommend. While there's nothing particularly wrong with Cat's Run, it's just games such as Mario Kart, Street Racer and F-Zero do the racing thing on the Super Nintendo much better. And they were all released worldwide. Also, this isn't a kill 5 minutes sort of game. You're driving constantly for up to 20 minutes per run. This is one exclusively for the car buffs, I think. This has been Sushi Bites. Thanks for watching. Another week, another Sushi Bites. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This week's intro line was contributed by top paying patron, Dark Gazing. The links on screen will be last week's episode, Otoboke Ninja Coliseum, and... Hmm... How about Dog of Bay? Thanks for watching. Peace out.